So hey, what's up guys, it's your boy Soji Gray. In this video, I'll be sharing with you five amazing Android apps you can install on your Android device in December. The first app I'm gonna talk about is called Panorama Crop. So if you go to Instagram, you'd see that sometimes people have these amazing carousels that are very swipeable. So you swipe, but then you see that the image is kind of continuous and you wonder how to create something like this. Now to do this, you can also use panorama crop because i originally used figma you can do it in photoshop but that's so complicated with panorama crop you can easily do it on your mobile device so all you need to do is just click panorama crop open it up and then you have three options we're going to choose the first one which is new swipeable post now once we select that okay it's going to give us the option to select our image so i'm going to select this image and then you can choose how many squares you want to fit it in. So if you, you can choose between two to 10, I'm going to choose four and I'm going to just select it. I just want to show the, the laptop right here. And then I'm going to click this button and it's going to process. So now as you can see, we can swipe the image seamlessly and we can have them in four different posts, not three, sorry, not three, but four different posts, which is amazing. And, you know, it adds that life to your Instagram and you can also express yourself more because you have more pages to, you know, show anything at all you want to show on Instagram. Now, the second app is called Scarlet. Now, this is a note taking app. I love a lot of things about this app. For starters, you can be able to lock your notes, which for me is very important. I'm a big user of Keep, so Google Keep Notes, I use that a lot. But one thing I don't like about Google Keep is that you cannot lock your notes. So anybody who is able to have access to your phone can go into your notes and see everything that you've been writing, which to me is not that great. But with uh, Scarlett, you have the ability to lock your notes. So as you can see, I've locked this particular note here. I can use my fingerprint to open it and then I have access to the notes. So it means that if anyone um, picks up my phone and the person goes into uh, Scarlett's notes, they, they won't be able to access some of my notes that I've locked or the, the notes that I've logged, they won't be able to access it except the ones that I've not locked, which I love. The other thing I like about Scarlett's notes is the fact that you can also have your notes in different colors, which is amazing because you can uh, do easy color coding. For example, if you want to have a particular, co uh, a particular color for some particular type of note you take, you can have that color scheme and that's that. Another thing I like about Scarlett is the fact that you have, uh, what's it called? Notebooks. So notebooks are kind of folders you can keep multiple uh, notes in, right? So I can click this and then I can add it to a notebook. You see, so I have a notebook called Tech Reviews. I click that and it enters into it. So once I open the notebook, I have it over here. So the fact that you can keep multiple notes in a notebook is kind of an amazing thing that I don't see on a lot of, you know, note taking app, especially Google Keep, something I've been using for a very long time that I love so much. Um, I just hate to say it, but I think this, in my opinion, is better than Google Keep because of its feature set. Now, uh, the good thing about Scarlett Notes is that it is totally free. You don't have any ads at all. And you can also back up. So if you're able to sign into the app, you can um, back up your notes and you will be able to access it on other devices, which is amazing. Now let's move on to the third app. Now, the third app is called Tours, right? Tours. Now, this is a torrent app. It's kind of like a search engine for torrent files. So if you want to search for any torrent file at all, this is your best friend. Uh, I've been watching this series called Tehran. And so I searched for it recently. So if I, for example, let me just click that and let's hit the search button. And as you can see, it's going to search for all the torrents available on the internet that has this thing I'm looking for called Tehran. So we're going to look for it and as you can see, we have just a ton of options. Some of them are movies, some of them are series, and I can choose any. Uh, we have Tehran season one here. I can just download it. So if you have this file you're looking for and you don't know which torrent site to go to, it would be nice to have uh, the Torrents app. You can search for your torrent. And then once you find it, 
you click it you can open it in a browser you can open the magnet link so if you have an app that can download torrent files it can download it immediately so let me just try it out for you guys to see i'm going to open the magnet link and as you can see it gives me two options because i have the free download manager app that can download torrent and i have flood that can download torrent as well so i have that option i can just choose that it opens the app and then it loads the torrent simple and easy and that is what i like about the Taurus app now let's move on to the fourth app the fourth app is a pretty old app but for people like me who have the samsung galaxy line no so, sorry the samsung galaxy notes line and have access to this pen which we call the s pen i think this is an app that you should take seriously especially if you're a creative person if you're someone who loves to draw i think this can you know help your your particular skill when it comes to drawing so as you can see i have an image here this is a very let me just raise this up so that you can see it clearly this is just a very normal image of my handsome self and i've actually hidden the layers i'm going to unhide them so that you can you guys can see what i created with this amazing app so as you can see i am unlocking everything and just look at that I was able to create this amazing image in Adobe Sketchbook. I just had a PNG image of myself. I added some lighting to make it look as if I was taking this neon like photo and it came out so well. And I just used the brushes that was given to me in the app. Now this is a free app. This is actually an app that serious creators or illustrators can take advantage of especially if you have the s pen and why am i saying the s pen because like the lot of um um in fact i know a lot there are few devices that have a stylus as good as this pen so uh if you're on android i think uh you would probably have the best uh out of this app if you have the samsung galaxy note line so the, the note 10 or the note 20 ultra or the note 20 so that is that i just love this app i love the fact that you can once you even choose your your brush type you can adjust a lot of things so the size the opacity uh you can also edit the pressure and then there are lots of things you can actually tweak over here now you also can change the color you have a color uh wheel here that you can also adjust to what you actually want to do and then you can easily draw on the particular layer you select so this is a very serious app and i just found it very useful i plan on doing a lot more with this and i might even make a separate video an into detail video about how to uh, do a lot of illustrations and sketch uh autodesk sketchbook so if you're down for that make sure you subscribe and you hit the bell icon so that when i release that you're going to be updated now let me move on to the last application now the last application is called remini remini is an ai generation tool and what it does is that if you have an old photo that is blurred out that you would want to you know bring back to life i think remini can help you because it adds some ai stuff and is able to make the image sharp again so to demonstrate how this app works i'm just gonna i think i've already blurred out one of my photos so this is a blurred out photo let me just bring it up so that you can see this is pretty blurred out and even though you can see like you can see that this is a human hair this is a, this is someone's hand in a very nice hoodie uh, you can clearly see that this is not a sharp image so we're going to see how remini brings this to life now once you click the red button it's going to try and run some you know analysis on the image and unfortunately it's going to play some ads because this is the free version but if you do want the paid version it's something you can get but i mean with the free version all you just need to do is wait 20 to 30 seconds and then it's going to play some ads in the meantime whilst it generates the the data to make your image sharp so let's see what it does we have about uh four seconds more two one and we're done so we're going to close that 
and it's still trying to you know do this as you can see here and it gives us this thing that we can use to draw and see the before and after so i'm going to bring this up a little bit and as you can see this is the before this is the after this is in my opinion sharper it's a little bit you know not accurate but i mean if because this image is very pretty blurred out so if you have an image that is not so blurred out it will be able to do like a more accurate job than what is done now but also i really appreciate that this you know is better than nothing so i mean i don't know what you want to use remini for for investigative work forensic work i think this is something that can work because if you go to their home you can see that they have video enhanced they have enhanced plus but most of these are pro uh, versions or they are pro features for the pro versions that you'd have to download but i mean so far with the free one i think this absolutely rocks so guys these are the five apps that i was able to find very helpful that i also thought wise to share with you guys in the month of december and creating these videos are not easy so if you want to support the channel all i would need is just you know drop a like and leave a comment down in the description uh, sorry in the comments below and thanks for watching this video i'll catch you guys in the next one peace out